We've been here before, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Must have an obsession with killing settees. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I was class as a lifer once upon a time. Yes, ones what do murder. Yes, I was locked up with them. Yes, I was. Hello. So, in prison, I got a dance because I got more visiting time with my kids. Well, my two boys, actually. So it worthwhile. Anyhow, I got me on pad, and um, that came quite handy, actually. So very handy indeed. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. Well, I'll carry on, obviously. But when I uh, dance got a pad all for myself my next door neighbour meaning the next pad he used to um, actually do matchsticks that's why I ended up starting doing matchsticks and um, he used to make pictures like this uh, well frames I should say a bit of cardboard and you can make a little hook and stick it on your um, um, wall that's quite simple. I did mine quite solid later on, but I don't have that. So, anyway, with this pad mate, later on we got um, a new idea of Marshgate made a head and swing. And um, we ended up padded up together. It was quite strange actually, because he moaned about, I hope they don't put any lifers in with me. And that, that, just that time, they were just putting my yellow card up. Now, when I went my single pad, I never had it on. But when I moved to a different wing, yeah, they put that on. So when he said that, uh, oh, they're not putting no lifers in, uh, he saw the sign, and then all of a sudden, this deep little whoop, swallow came out of him. Um, we had a few incidents with him, because um, I ended up sharing with lifer and usually they don't put lifers in the same pad just in case we have a ding dong or a fight we're going to end up killing each other and he rented a um, PS2 at the time and, um, and he had to pay I think about 50 gram of tobacco anyhow he got so frustrated on this game that um, he threw the pad and I says oh you shouldn't be doing that you know this guy is a lifer and he says bloody hell I'm just surrounded with him so <laughs> anyhow he did know the wing actually once because he used to put the TV on full blast and um, the lads weren't happy obviously they had to go at me but obviously they said well you, you were putting up with him and watching him um, how come you didn't let him turn it down Anyhow, instead of beating him up, one of them thought it was funny just to climb in bed with him because he used to be a heavy sleeper. And um, he woke up and the lad said, All right, sweetheart, oh, he well freaked out at that. So I'm gonna crack on and do something else. Okay. <laughs> So I'm watching indoor football, but well, I used to play indoor football in prison and it was a different way of rules how we used to play it. I mean, we used to elbow each other, knock teeth out and stuff. Guarantee you always be playing with another guy in another wing, you know, well another team from another wing and there always be a bit of conflict. So obviously our matches were really, really dirty. Well, that's just prison. Um... Ever thought prison? It had a really nice um, sports centre, and it was actually a sports centre. It had 
um, indoor football, all that this place, it's a bit dingy and dark here. Ours was well lit up and really fancy floors and stuff, they really spent some money on that. Gym was absolutely brilliant as well. We even had MTVs and stuff, what TVs, we have MTV on it. Just like a proper gym it was, but it was really high tech and nice. But yeah, indoor football, vicious game it was. Wait, well, well, it is in prison. Don't worry, it won't like me and Machine, you know, the film. Not the Burt Reynolds one, I'm talking about the English one with Vinnie Jones in and Danny Dyer and Jason Stateman. Yeah. The screws will never play football with us, never, not how we play. One incident when somebody actually brought a um, plastic fork or a spoon, melted the end off it, made a little shank, um, but screws jumped on him quite right away when he got first stabbing. So, so I spoiled it a bit, you know, for indoor football, you know, when somebody starts doing stuff like that. But it happens. Yeah, different location for everyone now. Yeah, I've gone blurry, typical. And yeah, you can hear planes behind me, because I am at Manchester Airport. And I will be continuing. What other prison stories can I mention? So, leaving Manchester Airport now, because I've been to take our Sean because he's a big brave boy he's gone on holiday on his own he's meeting the girlfriend over there so that's why so prison stories well a bit weird talking about stuff like that when you're in here but don't worry I want up for terrorism or all but I thought yeah nice location one thing about prison the dentist ain't that good so, if you've got two fake over there, you, you don't want that, seriously, you don't, you really don't, so, it's one thing you don't want, so, what can I say, a bit wobbly cap. Only one problem about prison is um, some people will encourage you to commit suicide um, all because of bets. Um, I'm afraid I was one of them what used to encourage people to do like just stomach tobacco. Uh, when new timers go in, uh, we make their life miserable to uh, encourage them to do it. We just class them as ponies. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I've got a different location. I mean, I did encourage one lad to do it. Um, he made me laugh that night um, before they locked him up in cells. I mean, um, you know, you see in prison, and you've got balconies. And you've got that, that wire mashing, it is actually wire mashing, it looks like a trampoline. I always wanted to run on that, you know, you know, go bouncing on it. It's just stop those inmates throwing screws off when they're getting hurt. You know, this lad climbed over and started running on it, having them screws chasing him. You know, he was actually going to the screws saying, chase me, chase me, chase me. Yeah, you know, this lad, later on that night, swallowed a load of razor blades so I actually won the bet so I won about 50 gram of tobacco yeah there's some planes behind me I'm still here yeah don't know if the sound quality is good because I don't have one of them nice mics um, I've got my hood up because it's absolutely freezing here Actually, it's 
So I'm on about prison. There's something about somebody about committing suicide. Well, if he died or not, we don't know. But he swallowed a load of razor blades, so it, 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 it counted. Well, I got me tobacco, anyhow. And then we class them as ponies. If it's a mule, that means they're stubborn, they won't do all. So, well, I think I'm actually discussed that. Some people ask about prison food. Is it any good? Well, I got used to it, actually. Uh, one, I started, when I got out, I started making it myself. I know it is, it's porridge. But I said it made in nice warm milk. It was made with hot boiling water. And I actually got used to eating it like that. Now in prison, I only had it once. We only got it served once. And uh, yeah, strange taste, but it's quite refreshing. Especially when you're out, you can put more sugar in. You can buy sugar there as well. You get your canteen and you can buy quite a few things. Uh, batteries or, or anything more or less. More or less. You know, all your potential stuff. A lot of lads buy uh, deodorants and makeup practically. The, the young generation did. They always gelling their hair up like they were dressed up to go out night clubbing. Well, you know, everyone's for their own thing. Bar mold, I won't really bother with that stuff. Right, now recording. So if you've got loved ones, what pooly and stuff, and you decide to go into jail, you can't just go out and visit them, just willy-nilly. And one saddest thing, that one lad got out. Only for a day, two hours, he well. His mum died. And when he came back, he said it wasn't worth it because you can't ch mingle and chat to relatives or anything. You're just there and they whip you away, they said. Then they decided to go for a pub meal. But they had one member in the car because they went in the car and you have to be handcuffed and all that lot. So, yeah, you'll miss out on silly little things like that. Yeah. Not silly, but obviously serious. So, you don't get no benefits or anything like that. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Yeah. Do the time, you do do the crime. Well, you do the... I've got to say that. <laughs> Actually, that's a good outtake, you know, in the but it's yeah. not. They say, you do the crime, you got to do the time. It's true. So... Um, I'll leave it at that. Bye, have a great time.